Welcome to the Capoeira Experience Podcast, where you are going to learn how Capoeiristas got where they are, how they keep the motivation, why they do what they do, and even how they do business through Capoeira. I hope you enjoy it and learn something from their experience. What's up, Capoeira Nation? Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Capoeira Experience Podcast. Today, uh, I have the pleasure to bring back my really good friend, Professor Congo from Curaçao. How are you doing, man? Hey, man. I'm doing good. Everything is happening. Just keeping positive, you know. That's me. Yes, yes. Trying to stay positive on this situation. Thank you, everybody, to hang in there, to assist to everybody's class. Keep keep training, keep moving. And uh, how, how, how have you been with your online classes and all, all the stuff? Well, it has been remarkably... Super positive. Even people that haven't trained for a while are entering classes now. That's awesome. I'm, I've been doing this for about two and a half weeks already. And I've got classes with people from Europe, classes with people from here, from Ecuador, Venezuela, Colombia, America. You name it, we got it. It's nice. bringing people together better than Nokia could. Nice, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Like no, no plane or or tickets to fly needed right now. No, man. It's like we 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 met in the class just now again. Remember, with ninety-seven people, the one of Mr. Amen. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we, Mr. Amen was a bunch of people. It was like an online batizado. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about there. Like this, this is like a online batizado, man. Yeah, man. That was like, what, last week, I think. Last week? Last yeah, last week. week. Saturday or Sunday, one of those two days. Yeah, one of those two days. Yeah. <laughs> now we, we don't even know what days. Yeah, man. I, yeah. I've i been training so much these days that's just ridiculously positive. I yeah. think yeah. I got last Saturday four trainings in one day. That's and awesome. Sunday two trainings, Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, without even having to leave my my house. That's awesome. Man. It's funny, like we didn't discover or or take action on this before all this happened. Yeah, I actually mentioned it to some masters before because, like, I'm here on Curacao. I'm like not not anymore isolated, but in the beginning I was alone, only with me and my students, and I was needing. Peer, peer, how you say, peer help. Yeah. Because traveling from here is not that cheap. So I, I did mention it to some masters, but I think the moment wasn't right because, yeah, me being here, I'm the only one feeling the isolation. But yeah. people in uh, the States, Europe, they still see every other people, every other level. But now that this happened, you can see that we Capurises can act fast and utilize technology very quick. Exactly, Even yes. people that have small spaces are training because we have trainings that you can do in small spaces. Yeah. 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 That, that's what I saw when I started the podcast last year when I was like, man, well, why, why are we not using technology to connect with more Capuristas? And then here we go. The podcast came up and then now Zoom classes came up. Yeah, man. I've, I'm not going to lie, I got so much, I'm happy actually that this happened, not with the sickness, but that we are using technology to connect with each other yes. in a positive way, not just chatting, gossiping, but yeah. really doing something positive by using the video technology to train. Yeah, 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 because uh, uh, we need this, we need, especially like my closest capoeiristas are three hours away. And then, let me see. No. Sorry sorry if I'm wrong to someone listening out there and they're closer. But, like, probably, like, an hour, hour, two hours, I think, is the closest in Cincinnati. And then, but it's two hours drive. That will be four hours of my day. Well, if I'm not counting my students, I have to go to the airport. That's, like, half an hour. <laughs> because I have to take an international flight. I have to wait three hours before the plane leaves. And then let's say Miami is three hours again, 
Yeah. And then from the airport to the venue where the training is going to be. So it's about seven and a half to eight hours to my first training. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then this technology just like came, came to, to help us to learn how yes, to connect man. faster. Yeah. Like I never thought I would. Then let me put it this way. I, I planned some events to visit this year in Miami. And one of them that I couldn't visit because I got a new job, Mr. Amen Santos was there. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm go- I missed it. It's one of uh, the one of Contra Mestre, India, of, of uh, student of Mestre, Accordion. And last week, all of a sudden, you sent me a link like, hey, Mr. Amen Santos class is here. I'm like, oh, That's man. Funny. And I jumped in. And I got the training from Mr. Amen Santos from my living room. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so crazy, man. It's crazy, like how how this is connecting us with with so many people. Yes, and not before some people start criticizing. It's just it will never replace the real training. It will never Absolutely. replace the real harder. Absolutely. Yes. In time of need, this is the best we can do. And even after the time of need, you can keep on using this technology. Let's say one day. Kashishi becomes like a contra mestre and he has a student who's an instructor who travels and goes live in uh, Abu Dhabi. Let's just say that. Uh-huh. He wants Kashishi to keep on uh, guiding him. So this technology, Kashishi can help him to do some basic moves, Man. even advanced moves, but helping through video conferencing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And and this stuff that we, we, we already should be doing, but... For some reason, we we really understand that, and thank goodness now we understand it, so we can we can actually apply this. Yes, because let, I even took a class via Instagram from uh, Formanda Pavão and uh, Formando Chegado. That's awesome. I man. took a class from Instructor um, Quebrado. Yes. I took a class from Professor uh, Macarrão Preto and Esquilo from Colombia. I took a class from. Contra Messi Buscapé from Canada, and so on and so on and so on. I even gave class to to some people I never met before, but now we're friends. So technology is helping us through hard times to keep positive. Yes, yes, and and definitely keep keep using that. And how how I know the situation, uh, current situation, but how how do you keep that motivation? Especially like just being home with a wife and two kids. Well, for me, let's put it pre-corona and after corona. Pre-corona is always looking for contact with friends. And uh, I did do this kind of call once. Not going to mention name with some other people. But now the motivation is just, okay, I have the time. If I just want to look when classes are and I train because if you just go like, oh man, when can we leave the house again? You're just going to stress yourself out. Yes. The only thing you can do is what can I do while I'm here? Clean house, train, clean dishes, train, play with kids, train, sleep, wake up and train. (laughs) Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Just to try to like, I guess ask, ask the, the right questions, right? Yeah. So, while I keep myself motivated, look for the positive things to do and try to minimize my thought of the negative things. Also, on sorry, on Instagram and Facebook, too much people are posting so much stuff. Instead of looking for the positive, they're like trying to get everybody in the hole they're, they're digging for themselves. So, if you keep on seeing those things, look for something positive to do. Yes. Like, my other hobby is um, budget filmmaking. I made a film just because I was bored. I made a film how you work at home. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, re- I remember seeing that video. Yeah, uh, is that the, one, the link that you sent me, right? Yes, that's the link, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. So if you keep on just thinking about what's going bad in the world, you will dip yourself in a hole. So yes. look for something positive, even if you have to just if you have the talent of drawing and you haven't done it in a while, take a paper and draw. If you want, try to draw capoeira 
sketch or something. If you like history, look up the history. If you lack musicality, pick your birimbau, go sit in the where you can sit and play the bit. If family is getting crazy, wait, go in the corner where they can't hear you. Go go train your musicality, man. You, yes. Now's the time to everything you have been neglecting to pick them up. Yes, absolutely, absolutely agree. Yeah. History, music, instruments. Even if you don't have instruments, There's a episode of the podcast where I, where I teach how to play rhythm ball with a without a rhythm ball. Cool, man. So yeah. y even if that, if you do, if you just try, want to talk about something, look, you have so much friends on that have WhatsApp. You have yes. friends that have Instagram. Look to try to communicate. Don't. It's difficult nowadays to say I don't have nobody to talk to. That's true. That's true, especially because I, I was watching somewhere in the news that uh, now that people are like have like anxiety problems or or depression problems or like loneliness problems. It's like man, now you have cameras, you have phones, you have WhatsApp. It's no excuse right now to not connect to someone. I understand that problem, and I don't understand that problem because people. It sounds a bit cliche because nowadays you go to work, you sit in your office, you work the whole day with your head in your computer. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even realize there are people passing next to you. That's true. Now that it's forcing you to think out of that situation, people start feeling claustrophobic. I'm not a doctor. Don't kill me. Yes. But it's something that you're realizing now that you're forced into the situation. But I've been also, I've been trying to make a short film about stuff. But people, this is good that it's happening. People are like realizing that they have to let go of being more on social media, but actually being social. Yes, yes, I agree, yes. So using social media to be social. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like intended. Yeah, when... when... Someone, I was having an interview where where I was. We were talking about like social media, but social media, people are not being social. You know, it's a social media, right? It's 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 a medium for us to use to connect with people, but we yes. use it to promote to promote everything. It's like socialty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and I guess to, it's to like feed ego, or I don't know what it is, but but we have to be more social and connect with people and help more people to be positive. Yeah, that, that's up to my extent. That's also why I'm giving my classes via Zoom or v I, I started it Google Hangouts and now I go via Zoom for the simple reason then I can see also people there and I can interact with them. Yeah. So, like, I it's not criticizing people that do it on Facebook or Instagram, but I just want to see If I'm helping some people, if some people are there, that we can have the mo more human interaction. Yes, yeah, yeah, same, same. That that's why I haven't I haven't done any live video on Instagram. It's for a certain reason because I, I want to that even even we don't have the face to face interaction, but at least I can see someone behind. Yes, but uh, again, I don't have like a thousand followers, a million followers that I can say okay i have that's then maybe okay facebook instagram like my classes the the biggest now was 42 people so that's awesome. i can still keep it interactive yeah yeah and how how are you planning your your week class how how are you doing that how i plan them yeah so, like monday i don't know okay i try to keep the same <clears throat> topic for the whole week not all class will be the same but let's say I will say today this week we're going to focus on finta da, finta de, de meio de compasso <clears throat> and then I'm going to build like moments or sequences up around that and I actually explain why I use that esquiva finta de meio de compasso the situation I will use it For example, if somebody does melody French, I do finta music passo under it to let the person get the shock. 
and then I come back with Cachada. Okay. Or I'll be like, okay, if somebody does Armada, I do Finta Mira de Compasso and step back and not move. So I take one topic, one move, and then I build my class around it from Monday till Saturday. Oh, okay, okay. That's awesome. And and how how are you doing? For example, like those people have kids. How how are you planning the kids class? How how do you keep them uh, interested to the class? The kids class it's because it's interactive. Like today there was kids class in the morning. They come to the telephone. They have they have contact with other people that's not their brothers and sisters. Nice. So it's actually. I think because they're isolated from the world, as soon as they can have contact with somebody else, they're all happy again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I built my class also around it. And because we use like Zoom and so they can see the other kids. And at the end of the class, every kid gets a moment to say something. We can even just go like, hi to this friend. So I give them the chance to also speak for a moment to even really interact not just with me but with the other students as well that's awesome that's awesome do, do you have any adult and uh, join the the kids class well i have every week i have one of the fathers that joins the kids class and this today it was instructor folia Seca from from saint martin an island close by who also joined the kids class and i got a message after the kids class from somebody from the States who said she wants to join the kids class as well, just because the, to see the way I teach kids. That's awesome. That's, that's actually a really good idea. So it's, it's a reciprocity thing. Like they come to assist your class, help keep the kids, the kids motivated and they get to learn from you. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's why awesome. I also attend other people's classes because, um, yeah, As a caporista, as a professor, it's always good to even attend a graduados class because then you'll see somebody, something maybe that you don't do, but that graduado is training that thing so much that he knows it step by step. One thing about my classes, I know it's not common, but I like to, to also explain stop, ba some techniques step by step that people can understand because in our earlier interview you know i'm a slow learner yes. so i try to help everybody to learn as well the way i learn same. by going step by step same that, that's that's how uh, actually how i do it because when i do when i have a sequence of six moments and i, I break it down and i do okay let's uh the first movement let's do it eight times the second then they do the first and the second movement there's like eight times and then add on add on add on until you have the entire sequence So they can be like, oh, okay. So you can put the whole piece together. Yes. I I actually try to keep my sequences about to four to five. Nice. Because I try to always relate it to the Hoda as well. Actually, yeah. And to see if sometimes people don't get into that automatic flow. Okay, they start mm -hmm. this. You know they're going to end up with this movement because they start this sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like it. I like it. That, that's that's a great idea to 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 learn because that would be easy to learn. And I completely agree that that because someone is a professor it doesn't mean that you cannot take a graduados class. You can take any class, you know, anyone. No, class. for example, now in before the C time, I made a deal with my instructor, so my my highest student. He teaches on Thursday, I teach on Monday. So Monday he trains, and Thursdays I train. Nice. I'm not allowed to say nothing because that's his class. Nice, that's awesome. So, yeah, to, for people to understand, Curacao is very small. So it's not that we're saying, no, don't go make your own class. But Curacao is small, so we're not going to, to saturate. So then everybody will have like one or two students. We keep yeah. it together so everybody, we that teach, both get a chance to teach, but to go back into the, the student mentality as well. And I, I'm loving it because I can train on Thursdays. Sometimes yes. I come home dead. 
Nice. That's awesome. And Mondays, he goes home dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. No, that, that, that keeps everybody humble, you know, and, and because you are high core doesn't mean that you have to, you, you shouldn't take a class, be someone below you, you know, below your level. Yes. And for, ex I'm going to, now I'm going to mention the name. This is an example. I got last year and this year I went to, an, last year I went to the event of a group in Miami and this year also. Yeah. Mestre Piquines and Mestre, Mestre Piquines from Nago and Mestre Lua from Males. Both of them, I saw them train next to me into, into a class of ones of a professor and a contra mestre. That's awesome. World renowned mestres taking classes from professores and contra mestres. That's awesome, man. So that will, shows you that it doesn't matter what level you are. If you want to train, you will train. It's not, okay, the guy is contra mestre. No, it's under, beneath my level. Or the yeah. guy is a professor beneath my level. No. Those two were training next to me, and I'm like, okay, world renowned master Pekinese is training next to me. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. That's a great example, man. Because I I love when I see when I see those kind of stuff, and it's really rare. And we have to make people understand that the is is really good to keep humble, you know. And, and it's really good to it's not it's not a bad thing to if you are high level. Or any level, and you do a class or or even a movement with someone below you, you know, it's no, it's no, it's not bad. I see it. That's not someone below me, but yes, you have rank, but it's somebody that's also growing. Yes, because yeah. everybody will grow if they want to keep on training and dedicating. You will grow. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and and like you said is you you probably will see and understand something that you never saw or never said in a class and you can be like oh is is actually pretty good to explain this like this guy is explaining it i can understand better yeah for example as well this is about just when i came back from Europe to live in Curacao, then I traveled to Europe again. I got a, I was instructor Corda Verde already. I got a class from a guy who was a graduado. A move I was struggling with for years. And he explained it with one small detail and now I can do it and I even do it in my game. That's awesome. That's and awesome. Not to criticize again. Yes. I've asked higher courts to help me. But they couldn't break it down the way this guy could break down that move. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we, we all see something in different ways. And, you know, like someone can explain something that you don't know or that, that they know that other people don't know. Yes, man. Yes, uh, that's awesome, man. And, and, okay. and to, to, to wrap it up and, and to finish this quick positivity, how one single tip... For people out there to stay positive, what would what it would be? One single tip. Tip. One single one single tip for for people to stay positive. Don't look for the negative. Look for the positive. Nice. It's, nice. it's easy said, but try to avoid all the negativity because it will only make you become negative. So look for something positive. There is always something positive around you. Even if it's just cleaning your house afterward, yeah. you'll have the positive aura in your house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you have a, the positive thing, you have a clean house now. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then just keep moving and, and keep training, to keep taking everybody's class. Yes, man. For my classes, everybody's welcome. I'm not charging anything because... I know some people are losing jobs, yes. are having hard times. B both um, family members, as a father and a mother, lose their jobs. So my classes are open. We do accept uh, donations, but it's not something we are expecting because we expect we know people are in need at this moment. So if we can give positive energy back, that's good enough for us. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. 
And uh, well, man, thank you so much. Thank you so much for for bringing us positivity to 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 the community. Thanks, man. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank you, thank you, brother. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. All right. I just want to share something with you really quick. If you are listening to this and you teach or assist to a capoeira class, or even if you have an event coming up, I want to help you. I want to help our capoeira community because there is nothing, nothing, nothing more important to me than help our capoeira community. Because classes are more fun when there's more people to share this, this sachet, this energy so awesome that capoeira has so i want to share your class or event in our podcast so reach out to us with school name or any information on how people can find you and send it to our email podcast capoeira at gmail.com that's podcast capoeira at gmail.com and i will share that information here in our podcast Thank you so much for listening. I hope you like this podcast. If you did, take a screenshot, send it to someone that knows about Capoeira or, of course, wants to learn. Share it everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, everywhere. And help us grow this community with a subscribe. Thank you so much. Peace.